if anybody's out there, thanks for watching. This uh, article, first one, is by DT Next. It is, was that a missed call from an extraterrestrial? The article basically speaks about a signal that they received when they pointed their satellites or their telescopes at Alpha Centauri. Um, they claim that they don't think that it was anything to do with aliens or extraterrestrials, that it was just an odd signal. And I'll read a little bit here for you. It's some sort of technological signal. The question is whether it's Earth technology or technology from somewhere out yonder, said Sophia Sheik, a graduate student at Pennsylvania State University, reading a team study, the signal and trying to decipher its origin. She is part of a breakthrough listen, a $100 million effort founded by Yuri Milner, a Russian billionaire investor, to find alien radio waves. The project was now stumbled on its most intriguing pay dirt yet. Proxima Centauri is an inviting prospect for out yonder. Um, they also speak about how Alpha Centauri is only 4.2, 4 4.24 light years from Earth. And it also has, let's see, Proxima has at least two worlds, one of which is rocky world, only slightly more massive than Earth, that occupies the star's so-called habitable zone, where temperatures should be conductive to water, the stuff of life on its surface. Um, they go through and they also talk about where the actual bandwidth was. Uh, the frequency was 982.02 megahertz. It was detected in 2019. Um, they really... Don't know much. Uh, they actually talk to uh, SETI, and SETI basically says that they're not going to get excited because they've gotten excited before, and it turns out that it's nothing. They say that this has happened before, and it usually turns out to be radio frequency interference. So until I'm assuming they can replicate this continuously, or they can decipher something, that it'll still basically be um, a hope that it is some kind of uh, radio transmission from an alien race on another world. So, um, so here's a quick little second story we have from Hawaii News Now. Um, apparently, th um, this lady witnessed a UFO, a blue UFO, that she says was bigger than a telephone pole, flying and then um, they got into their car and they followed it and then it ended up landing in the ocean so it's a ufo or uso or it became a uso i suppose would be probably the best way to put it um they have a uh, comments in here from the faa and um the only thing they really say is that there was they have no information about a plane crashing or a missing plane or losing a plane on the radar that they have none of that they do claim that the police um gave them a report stating that there was a um a plane that crashed which i think they're taking her report about the object going into the water um they also claim she says that there was also another object that was a white object that was smaller than the first one and that one didn't go in the water they actually lost track of it as it went past a mountain range in their area so interesting um uh, i mean there's long been discussions on bases underwater um so this could easily be something that just went out for a you know went out for a drive and it's coming back to go home so it's a short little video but i mean every every little bit counts so i don't want to do this one so <clears throat> here's a third article it's from i which is a uk newspaper and it's by dean kirby so if i say i said something in this article it's not me it's the actual <laughs> article itself <clears throat> but anyway in one of the strangest years of our lives reports of ufo sightings have reached new heights in the lockdown which is something i've, I've actually read about quite a bit that during the lockdowns that have been occurring we've had an increase in ufo sightings um they're not entirely sure if the ufo sightings are increases due to people being locked down uh, which most people assume that's what it is, is that people have been locked down, so they, they go outside more often. And then by going outside more often, they're able to see these UFOs or 
as they would claim people see things that they misrepresent as UFOs. So I suppose it depends on what aisle you're sitting on on this argument, though. I mean, there are mis- there people do see things and not understand it. I mean, if you, if you go through um, a lot of the uh, UFO reports, you'll see people mistakenly take the, the Starlink system from uh, Musk, and they report that as UFOs quite often, if you look into that, which... <clears throat> You know, if you've never seen it before, the lines look rather, you know, odd because you've never seen it before. But anyway, I'm rambling. They go on to speak about how um, they've doubled in the last 12 months. Um, Using the Freedom of Information Act, I has discovered there have been at least 128 calls made to 16 police forces since 2016 and more than 20 of them from the two shining lights above Northampton to multiple UFOs at Sheepway in Kent were in the last or the past 12 months. Um, they go on to talk about how there could be even more. Um, they say that 30 police forces, including police of uh, Scotland, say that they would have to go through 700 records where UFOs were used. So there could be even more. I mean, it could be uh, triple, quadruple what they actually do believe. Um, and if you know anything about UFOs or if you've been following it, um, they speak with Nick Pope, who used to work for the Ministry of Defense. And he talks about perhaps that there's more of a reason why people are seeing these. He kind of brings in a, um, maybe like a, it says a philosophical view, you know, that maybe people are looking up at the skies and, and wishing a bit, you know, to be out and doing things instead of being locked down. And maybe that wishfulness, um, either perhaps attracts, um, if you, if you do read into about UFOs, you, you do understand that there's, there are several people that talk about how using, um, like positive emotions and positive meditation can actually, um, give you the ability to see UFOs or bring UFOs or, um, entities to you. So uh, maybe he's kind of referencing that because I've read about that happening to individuals, but also, um, <clears throat> they go on to talk about, um, a few small incidences. They talk about things that people have seen. Um, they talk about, um, how the ministry of defense no longer takes any kind of phone calls or any kind of reports about UFOs. So they've been going to the police forces. So that's why the police forces are getting involved now. Um, <clears throat> they talk about how people have actually called the, the Royal air force due to things that they have seen. Um, one individual said they saw something that was a line across the sky, the size of a six football pitches before it faded away. Um, you have other ones where this object looked like a Vulcan bomber shaped craft lifted up with white lights. And I don't know what a Vulcan bomber sounds, but I heard Vulcan and that was funny enough for me. Um, triangular shaped objects. Um, if, I mean, obviously if, um, you know, the, there's the, the TBs. Those are typically the triangular shaped objects that you, you hear quite a bit about. Um, but they also talk about misidentification, which of course there is misidentification, which, which does occur. Um, and they, 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 they do kind of take a little stab at the idea that they think people are crazy, that perhaps you're not seeing UFOs or you're not seeing strange objects, but perhaps the lockdowns are making you insane and the stress of the lockdowns and the strains of, you know, everything that goes on with the lockdowns. I mean, everyone's dealing with their own, their own issues, let it be personal, financial or whatnot during these, um, uh, terrible times, but one of the arguments, of course, which is a typical argument, people always say, if you see a UFO, you're crazy, no matter who you are. I mean, you could be a, a well-known, you know, Top Gun pilot like they have with the Tic Tac incident, and, you know, people are going to claim that he's he's crazy, even though, you know, obviously you'd like to believe that he would know what uh, the UFOs or a non, uh, an object that did those maneuvers would be, but that's a that's a totally different topic. Um, they they bring on how some people have seen lights and they, they don't believe in UFOs, but seeing these objects, of course, will make you wonder a bit more. I mean, if, if you're if you see something flash around the sky in crazy ways that you know, I mean, you know a plane can't, you're gonna you're gonna wonder what that is, you know. It, so, but otherwise, an interesting article. Um, 
there has been if you read a lot of different articles there's been an increase in the ufos but i'm i'm rambling so i'll let it be so here's a an interesting one that i didn't even know this comes from news.com slash au and the article is about a provision or it says um that there was a committee comment attached to the annual intelligence authorization act and that says that there's a hundred day countdown for the pentagon and spy agencies to reveal what they know about ufos which is interesting um it comes after the u.s president donald trump signed a 2.3 million or trillion covid relief and government funding bill on sunday now i haven't even heard about this because obviously if if you're in america the discussion about the whole covid relief bill and uh, stimulus checks isn't that's what's taking prominence right now it's there's no discussion about this right here which i find this to be incredibly interesting this to me i mean me personally it just kind of flew under the um the radar it says thanks to the act included in the bill federal agencies much must publish a report in the next six months um but they also say that the provision wasn't included in the text of this 5,593 page legislation man it's crazy but that it i mean it's it's gonna happen i mean that that to me that's that's incredibly interesting um and of course, you know, if, if you've been following this topic, uh, there's been the, a lot of released videos going on recently, or not recently, but within the last few years. And of course, the biggest one is, of course, the uh, the Tic Tac video. So you have those videos, which I think is drawing people's more attention. I think the videos are interesting, but we, I mean, you have tons of videos. You can look online and find videos everywhere on UFOs. But I think probably the bigger argument is the witnesses. You know, I mean, if, if I told you that I saw a UFO, you probably wouldn't believe me. But if you have someone that's been in the military and they fly, they're one of the, you know, Top Gun pilots, you'd probably believe them a little bit more. Um, they go on to talk about how, you know, obviously there's people that don't believe that any of this is UFO related, that it was you know, something else. Um, I don't know, swamp gas for, for all the, the typical arguments go. Um, but they bring in, you know, s several incidences, of course, those videos with the Tic Tac. Um, they also talk about, um, the silver cube hovering over the Atlantic, which sparked, uh, fears of possible aliens living within the ocean, which of course the idea of USOs or underground alien bases is, is nothing, nothing new, of course, right now. Um, but, um, he does reference the fact that, um, John Brennan said on a podcast that it was presumptuous and arrogant for people in the government to believe that the organisms found on Earth were the only life forms in the universe, which is, I mean, which is ridiculous. I mean, the, the universe is, I mean, you, you can't fathom, like, infinity is something you can't even fathom. Like, what is infinity? Like, you can't wrap your mind around the idea of no no end. It's It'll drive you slowly insane to, to try to, you know, never end. But anyway... Anyway, um, I thought this was very interesting, and I very much look forward to hearing whatever comes out of this in the 180 days when they're forced to do this. So I look forward to reading it. And if you've stumbled upon this, thank you for listening to me ramble for 10, 12 minutes. Um, if you enjoyed me rambling, please tell me you enjoyed me rambling. And I will continue to ramble about things that I enjoy, and hopefully you enjoy the same things. But otherwise, um, thanks for st sticking around. See you later.